Hey everybody, welcome to Origami Wednesday. This is our first one for the fall. Today we are going to make this lovely heart corner bookmark. The cool thing is, if you had a book, you just put it over the corner of your page, close the book and it's gonna mark your spot. I now have so many of these lying around my desk, you know, you'd think that the heart's all exploded. All right, so this is actually, it is tricky. I'm not gonna lie, there are some tricky folds in here, but bear with me, we're gonna have a good time. First, we're gonna go diagonal. Oops, line up your corners and your sides as well as you can, that's diagonal. We're gonna turn it and go up diagonal again, okay? So you see, if you open it up, it makes kind of a little cup. Then we're gonna fold it so the cup is down. And I'm gonna fold it side to side to make a rectangle. Now you say, why are you doing it this way? That doesn't make any sense. All the other folds go the other way. That's because when I open it up, that means those folds automatically wanna go inside, which is what we want. So we're gonna have a triangle. Now you can see, We've got our basic shape. Okay, now we're gonna make the heart. So this is our corner. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make what I think of as a diamond fold, which I'm sure that is not what it's called. I am not an origami master. I just call things what I like. So I fold up that corner. So the point goes to the short corner. I fold that one. So the point goes to the short corner. And see, it makes a diamond shape or a sideways square, however you want to look at it. Okay, then I'm going to open it up. This is, this is the tricky one because I want to fold, not this, I want to fold this side to the middle. So it's going to get folded like that and straight up. And this guy, see, this is the tricky part, I told you is gonna get folded and straight up. If you can get to the tricky part, you're good. Okay, so that gives us kind of a point, maybe a fox face, I don't know. We've got this guy. So then if I fold it, I'm gonna fold it. So I unfold it, so here's my rectangle. I'm gonna fold that guy up like that, okay. Then I'm gonna do what I always think of as a reverse pocket. So if I have it folded like this, I'm gonna push so this crease lines up with this. And on the other side, I'm gonna fold it so this crease, and so I'm turning that curve inside out and I'm making a triangle out of a rectangle. Now, this back part stays down, this top part comes up, and you can see we're almost to the heart shape. So on my fold, I'm gonna take this little flappy all by himself, and fold him over. I'm gonna take this little flappy, fold him over all to himself. Look at that, we're so close, we have a pointy heart. You could stop here, maybe you could say that's a mountain range. I don't know, you have options. But if you wanna make it a heart with a nice rounded top, once you get here, I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna fold it so the point goes to the middle, that little cluster right there. Fold that point so the point goes to the little cluster in the middle and when I open it up, ta-da! We have a heart corner bookmark. Super easy, like I said, you've got a, it's, it's a little tricky. If you didn't catch it, you're always welcome to rewind and watch as many times as you want. If you have questions, don't hesitate to call. All right, you have a great afternoon and I look forward to seeing you next week. Have a good one.